The story begins with Kei Kurono, a reserved individual, observing a tragic incident at a subway station where a man jumps in front of a train. Kurono's childhood friend Kato approaches him and asks for help in saving the man. Despite their efforts, both Kurono and Kato lose their lives. Instead of moving on, they find themselves in a peculiar room along with seven other recently deceased individuals and a dog. Their new mission is to hunt down the Kid Onion alien, which they successfully eliminate, only to face the formidable adult onion alien that swiftly kills them. Masaru is beaten by the alien, but Kurono manages to evade its pursuit and together they complete the mission. Nishi, another survivor, reveals that they will periodically return to the room for more alien hunting and suggests that they may be copies of their original selves. While Kurono struggles to readjust to his normal life, Kei Kishimoto, discovering her own copied existence, chooses to stay with Kurono as a companion. Their next encounter involves the Tanaka alien. Kishimoto stays at Kurono's place but refuses to engage in a sexual relationship, noticing that her scars have disappeared. Kato confronts some bullies and discovers that the original Kei Kishimoto is still alive. Kurono, Kishimoto, Kato and Nishi are suddenly frozen in place and transported to the Tokyo room for a new mission. Simultaneously, four members of the Zoku biker gang are deceived and killed, while a truck driver's dozing off behind the wheel leads to the deaths of four others. All eight of them are sent back to the room. Masaru attempts to explain the situation to the newcomers, angering Nishi in the process. Kurono realizes he is without his suit, and Nishi declares him dead. However, Kurono manages to steal the biker gang leader's suit and succeeds in surviving. The bikers start playing with the guns, resulting in one of them shooting Nishi. In retaliation, Nishi shoots back, killing the biker. Kurono is then expelled from the room and encounters the first alien, which begins to pursue him. An invisible Nishi kills one of the alien hatchlings, leading to a battle underwater beneath a bridge. Nishi suffers severe eye injuries, but Kato saves him by forcing the alien out of its cybernetic shell. Kurono successfully defeats the alien using the Y-Gun. Nishi succumbs to his injuries, and Kato discusses the game with the remaining survivors, revealing that there is at least one more alien to be dealt with. Kato leads most of them away, leaving Kurono without a suit. Kurono is then held at gunpoint by the two remaining bikers and coerced into entering the alien's lair. Meanwhile, a flock of Tanakas attacks Kato's group. Kato fights back and manages to defeat one of the aliens, causing the others to swarm him. Kishimoto shoots one of the aliens, while newcomer Masanobu Hojo forces another out of its shell, resulting in its demise. The two remaining Tanakas attempt to attack newcomers, Kayo Sugihara and Ryota Sugihara, but they are pursued and killed by Kishimoto and Hojo. Kurono finds himself encircled by six Tanakas in the lair, which is filled with hatchlings. A door opens opposite him, revealing the Tanaka alien's boss, who confronts Kurono and forces him into battle. Despite the overwhelming odds, Kurono manages to shoot down the walls and floors, making his escape as the lair collapses, killing all the aliens except the boss. The boss then lifts one of the bikers into the air and kills him. It then confronts Hojo before chasing and grabbing Kurono. Kurono skillfully evades its attacks, removes its breathing apparatus, causing it to drop him, and shoots it while both are falling from the sky. The mission concludes, and all the survivors are transported back to the room. Gantz scores each participant, with Kato receiving 5 points, Hojo and Kishimoto earning 10 points each, and Kurono amassing an impressive 38 points. As they leave the apartment, Kato informs the newcomers that they will return to the room in a few days for another mission. Kishimoto accompanies Kurono back to his home, but their conversation about Kato leads to an argument, resulting in Kishimoto's departure. Back at school, Kurono feels frustrated by the lack of recognition from girls, intensifying his desire to return to the room where he truly feels alive. The focus then shifts to Tetsuo Nemoto, the sole surviving biker, who discovers the gun and embarks on a testing spree. He kills a loan shark and confronts the rival gang members who previously killed him and his friends. However, the gun malfunctions and he meets his demise once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the upcoming recap of Gantz G. In the next video, we will delve into Kei Kurono's battles against Buddha aliens, Muscle aliens, Dino aliens, and the Ring alien mission. Stay tuned for more exciting content.